There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Set camp! Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Barrack? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. I'll deal with whatever we find if it means not sitting here. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine! Find a way around. Just do it quickly. Uh, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. If he's alive, we'll find him. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. I don't know, after dinner, I'm like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt him. <laughs> he can handle himself pretty nicely. Alright then, let's continue onwards. Dark if I do edit it out, basically... Gift from the magisters. Yeah. Okay, basically if I edit it out, the reason why my throat's hurting right now is because I decided to list off all of the things you needed to have done at this point in time. I may edit it to where I, um... Just have a picture up that shows, here's the checklist, here's what you need done. So, we'll see how that goes. Ugh. If those wondering what, um... Turn it down a little bit. What Fenris referred to with the, uh... Dark Swan and the Magisters... It's common belief that the Darkspawn are born from Tevinter Magisters who stole into the Golden City, which is the Realm of the Gods, and brought the corruption back, which led to all this. <clears throat> Deep Shroom. Sorry, my throat. Excuse me a second, guys. Oh god, that feels so much better. So I had a major cough. Alright. The dark spawn, by the way, those that don't remember, go into the deep roads searching for the old god prisons, which are the old gods of the uh, Tevinter Imperium. Um, when they find an old god, they touch it and infect it with the blight. Which creates it into an archdemon. Or, they corrupt it, obviously, and then it turns into an archdemon. And they, it starts a blight, which is basically the archdemon uh, controlling every dark spawn and having them wage war against humans. No one knows why, they just do it. Gather. God damn, Carver, you suck. All right. I keep an eye out for quite a few items down here, actually. Silverite. And spiders. Holy shit, a lot of spiders actually. Forgot how many forgot how many there were. And then the monsters. God damn, I keep forgetting how big that thing is.
drag you away. Didn't work. The ab abdomen spasm was horrifying. That would terrify the hell out of me. I mean, I've seen spiders, not in person, mind you, they're about the same size as my hand. God, no. Right. I'm trying to keep a mental map of this place and where all the resource materials were. I've been down here before, obviously. <clears throat> and I'm trying to recall all that memory, and I'm usually pretty good at that type of thing. Usually being the app word. So we'll see how good I am at this memory shit, memory thing. That. Now a deep mushroom. Alright, more herlocks. Okay, Tulerium and Orichalcum. I think I remember where they are. Well, I'll be a Nugs uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? Hello? <laughs> it is. The great warrior stands victorious. I don't believe it. Are you responsible for all this? Boom! And how did you do that? Not enchantment! Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. God damn. So we got the Stone's Breath, I think it was called? Yeah, it's a nice staff. It's actually better than my current staff. In terms of pure strength, but not in all the stats, so... Let's take a look at it. Oh god, this thing's awesome. So... <clears throat> There have been theories about how uh, Sandal is able to do that, Rallarium. Um, I have my own theory based off of future future DLC in a different game. But I'm not going to go into that because reasons. Um, for those that know which DLC I'm referring to, it's in Inquisition. Um, that should be obvious what I'm referring to. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not going farther than that. Um, the current prevailing theory is that Sandal actually is a mage, even though he's not, even though he's a dwarf. Which is interesting considering mages can't be, or dwarves can't be mages. But, uh, a lot of people believe that he somehow has a strain or something that makes it possible. He's half human and that allows him to tap into magic or something like that. No one really knows yet. They haven't addressed it. I have a theory, like I said, which I will address once we get to that DLC. But I can't I can't say it. Really wish I could. I don't like spoilers, so I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Well, I'd say I'm, I can't wait to play it as uh, my dwarf character. It should be interesting. Alright, revolve you! God damn. You know, the Darkspawn got a lot more um, piss ante since Suzuka. Or. Lilith's a lot stronger than uh, not Suzuka, Sobi. Or 
uh, Suzuki, uh, Lilith is just stronger than Soviets. <clears throat> of course, it could be some of the fact that since there's no blight, the Darkspawn aren't getting uh, strength from the Archdemon. So, it could be that. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. Gather! Good job, brother! What is that Hurlock doing in the background? He's just running around. And lift drop. Thank you, bro. That screaming always makes me uncomfortable. That. Can't open you yet. Can't open you, though. Alright, onwards and upwards. If it's still glitching, by the way, by the time we get to a certain point, I'm going to uh, stop for a little bit. Come on. God damn! I have no clue why the ogre isn't moving from that spot. You're just kinda of staring a little down like I'ma kill you. Alright. Watch where you step. Yep. We're good to go. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my beats. Shh. <laughs> I thought I picked that, or got rid of that trap. Damn it! Easy as pie. Someone's left a surprise here for us. Okay. Level up, abilities. Well, that's annoying. In order to get this, I need to have at least seven into this tree. I don't want that. I don't want fire. But... Let's upgrade that. Alright, let's do a quick save. Okay, let's get you onwards. When we get to our first rest point, I'll uh, reset the recorder, that way we don't have to worry about uh, all this glitch. Okay, so there is a Lyrium and Orichalcum uh, still inside here. I believe I know where they both are, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm hoping. Alright. Alright, let's get the hell out of here then. Back, you'd be so kind. Great. And we made it through. Hooray! Now first we have to deal with this. No clue why the hell is the dragon down in the deep roads. At least one of this size. I can understand drag links, but not this. This makes me think it's going. It, this is a um, a female dragon, because it's big. It's about the same size as the mature dragon we fought earlier, but it's just a regular dragon. So I'm assuming this is just a um, a female dragon trying to find a good place to hide. Screw this bitch. And dead. This motherfucker has the robes we want. Alright, let's equip him. Whoop. 
They're actually better. Nice. At least by uh, base points. I know it gives me a boost to something. But I really don't like that. Gives us a plus one of magic and plus twenty magic stamina or mana stamina. Yeah, no. It, it, it's a lot better. I know it is, but I just I love cosmetics. <laughs> cosmetics and me are just a, a thing. I I, I I just can't. Alright. Let's continue onwards then. Ah, here we go. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave in. It's about time. Let's move out! You're welcome, Dickstash. Jeez. Be a little bit more grateful. Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned time, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. Alright, made to camp. Nice. Now, see if we can find, uh, the two. Can we not? I don't get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why is that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. You can't know everything about dwarven history. I know enough about our history to know we haven't changed much. Dwarves have been mired in tradition for many ages. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. Okay, a little side note about the architecture around here. Okay, first and foremost, Lyrium. We've been finding it in its raw state every so often, little uh, oral veins of it and whatnot. But what you're seeing right here, these actual root-like ones, and the uh, straight-up crystals that are popping out, these are more um, advanced lyrium, I guess, can we be putting it. Now, lyrium is always blue. Always. Guaranteed. So, this is the first time we've seen a lyrium strand that is red. Kind of interesting, huh? A little side note as well, dwarves are the miners of lyrium. They are unable, they're the only race that are able to directly contact uh, Lyrium. Anyone else that touched it get poisoned by it and probably die very quickly afterwards. Dwarves have a resistance to it innately, but they're not immune to it. So they can get a uh, Lyrium sickness as well. It just takes a lot longer. You found him, I can't believe it, you found him. Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. Don't go making promises you can't keep. But I will keep it. You'll see. Loverly. Alright, how's my uh, imagery at? 
Alright, so I'm gonna restock my stuff, get some shit, and I'm gonna reset my recorder so we get rid of those little annoying glitches. Right back, guys!